Hi, how's it going? I'm going to teach you guys how to use the motion tracking tool. Uh, what this does is it finds a point in the video file to track uh, so you can attach it to a layer. Now, without a tracking point, character just like it looks like it's floating there. But if you put a tracking point down, it'll just make it'll make it look like the character's in the scene. Now, the first thing you want to do is get your video file and your character you want to track ready and select the video file then uh, go up to your tools under these specials there's the video tracking tool now when you when you're looking for a point to track you want to have a point that's uh, that the color is like defined differently than like like surround the surrounding color so like right here would be a good spot where the dirt is and uh, what this inner ring does is it defines the region you want to track while this outer ring defines the max distance you want it to move so like if your character has a lot more movement I guess uh, it'd be better to have it further out but typically you're gonna want to keep this uh, synced in so that your character doesn't move around too much now to actually track the points you wanna go ahead and get that out and all you have to do is press play and Anime Studio will automatically start tracking the points and once you have those points tracked, you go ahead and select the layer you want it to track to. Now before you do that, you want to make sure you have your origin uh, in a spot that... Uh, uh, ah, I'm getting jumbled up here. You want to... The origin is going to move where uh, wherever you put the motion track tracking at. So it'll, it'll go ahead and, and put the character right here because that's where the motion tracking is because I put the origin uh, right here to the uh, right next to his shoes but just go ahead and select the layer you wanna you wanna track and if you go up to animation select track layer to video and then this will come up now uh, I only have one tracking point because I wanna keep this sweet and simple and sweet sweet and simple jumbling my words again sorry um, but the primary tracking point uh, it controls the position while the secondary the secondary tracking point uh, it controls the angle or the scale but just go ahead and make sure you have the right video file selected and press OK and it will use the keyframes from the uh, motion tracking right here so if we go ahead and play it looks like he's in the scene. Uh, now it looks a little off because I, I just did it real quick. And thanks for watching my video. Uh, if there's anything uh, you can't find any tutorials for, uh, go ahead and write a comment. Maybe I'll make one for you. Uh, the only reason why I made this one is because there was no there's no tutorials on motion tracking. So yeah, have a good day.